County Clerk Chris Hollins and Isabel Longoria, who's our new elections administrator, will, will be taking up her duties in, on November 18th. Over the past year, we've worked hard to stand up a voting infrastructure for our residents. We've fought to make voting safe, secure, and convenient. We've invested over $30 million for triple the number of early vote locations, many more election day locations, for drive-through voting, for higher pay for election workers. Everything we're doing from expanded hours to 24-hour voting, everything we're doing is to make sure that votes can be cast um, by folks safely, securely, and conveniently, especially during a pandemic. Now, I'm hearing from a lot of residents who are rightfully concerned about their votes, who hear about the litigation going on and are wondering what's going to happen with their vote if they vote a drive through. And we wanted to have this uh, conversation with folks to reassure you of where we are here in Harris County. First, folks should know that we in Harris County have your back, no matter who you voted for. We recognize your vote for the treasure that it is. We recognize elections as the cornerstone of our democracy. And we are fighting as hard as we possibly can to protect every single vote that has been cast. We are working with urgency with the brightest legal team in our state who is working day and night to fight this frivolous litigation that is now in federal court. I do acknowledge that the fact that we're even having this conversation is cause for concern and means that something is, is, it needs our attention. We have to be real and put out there that it is bewildering that this is even happening, that these votes that have already been cast, are, that folks are trying to invalidate them. We know we're right on the law. We had drive-through voting for a past runoff election. The Secretary of State has seen our plans for months with no objection. Just a few hours ago, the Texas Supreme Court rejected uh, a petition to have these votes invalidated, which means that our highest state court is not entertaining these disruptive attempts to invalidate what we know to be valid votes. And even if we weren't right on the law, which we are, Decades of precedent in Texas and around the country tell us that you're not supposed to invalidate votes that have been cast. Courts are just not supposed to do that. And anything in that direction would be an outrageous act of suppression. And so while we in Harris County fight in the courts and our clerk and his team do everything possible to continue running this election as perfectly and beyond reproach as they have been, what should you do? Harris County citizens have faced numerous challenges together, and we work together and we pull through. This is another shared challenge. You have the opportunity on Tuesday to wield the most important tool you have, and that's your vote. Right now, what we need you to do is to focus on participating like never before. So vote. For our part, if anything changes due to the federal litigation, if there's anything we need you to do, we're going to be the first to tell you. And trust us, we are fighting with everything we can and the best legal minds. But right now, remember, we are right on this. We are on the side of safe and secure access. And we are seeing these challenges and we're taking them seriously. Around the country, folks trying to invalidate votes have filed lawsuits for different reasons. Some places they're attacking the dates some places they're attacking the method of voting. Here in Harris County, they chose drive-through voting and they could have chosen anything else because it's frivolous. But we're taking it seriously and we're gonna continue fighting. Remember to go to harrisvotes.com for polling locations, for hours and resources and make sure however you vote on Tuesday that you make your voice heard. I'm gonna repeat my remarks in Spanish and then we'll hear for, from our clerk and our elections administrator. Este último año estamos, hemos estado trabajando muy fuerte para crear una infraestructura de elecciones que sea segura y que sea conveniente. 
hemos expandido el número de sitios de votación, invertido más de 30 millones de dólares, hemos creado esta votación por auto, hemos expandido las horas, todo esto para servir a nuestros ciudadanos, especialmente durante esta pandemia. He escuchado de muchos votantes que con toda la razón están preocupados, escuchan acerca de estas batallas en las cortes que han votado por automóvil y se preocupan acerca de qué va a suceder con sus votos, ya que hay ciertas personas que están intentando invalidarlos. Lo primero que deben saber es que aquí en Harris County estamos luchando por su voto, sin importar por quién haya votado. Nosotros reconocemos el tesoro que es su voto. Reconocemos que las elecciones libres son la parte más importante de esta democracia. Y tenemos un equipo legal increíble, las mejores mentes legales de este estado y tal vez la nación trabajando por proteger su voto si ha votado por automóvil. Estamos muy confiados que vamos a ser exitosos. Pero también tenemos que entender y aceptar que el hecho de que estamos teniendo esta conversación significa que hay algo que sea preocupante. Tenemos que ser claros y tenemos que aceptar que es increíble, que siquiera es posible que estemos discutiendo la posibilidad de que votos sean invalidados. Sabemos que tenemos la razón en cuanto a la ley. La, el secretario del Estado que administra las elecciones ha sabido acerca de nuestros planes de votar por automóvil por muchos meses y nunca se opuso. De hecho, tuvimos este tipo de votación en una elección previa meses atrás. Eh, hace solo unas cuantas horas, la Corte Suprema de Texas ha decidido eh, negar una petición para invalidar los votos. Eso nos dice que la corte más importante de este estado está de nuestro lado y entiende que los intentos de invalidar estos votos son completamente eh, falsos y sin mérito. Y aunque no estuviera de nuestro lado la ley, hay muchos casos en la historia legal de Texas, en la historia legal de este país, que dicen que bajo ninguna circunstancia prácticamente se invalidan los votos. Las cortes simplemente no deben hacer eso. Entonces, en lo que seguimos luchando en las cortes, ¿qué debe hacer usted? Hemos enfrentado muchos retos juntos y este es otro reto. Este es otro reto que tenemos que enfrentar como comunidad. Y usted tiene la oportunidad este martes para utilizar la herramienta más fuerte que tiene usted y ese es su voto. Entonces, por favor, sin importar a quién apoye, salga a votar. Por parte nuestra, si algo cambia en cuanto a la batalla legal federal que se está llevando a cabo, si hay algo que necesitamos que usted como votante haga, se lo haremos saber. Pero en este momento lo que necesitamos es que sepa que estamos luchando por usted y que por favor salga a votar. Recuerde que nosotros tenemos la razón por parte legal. En todo el país hay grupos demandando a condados intentando invalidar votos. En ciertos estados la razón que están utilizando están atacando el, el horario. En otros estados están atacando el método del voto. Aquí en Texas están atacando el voto por automóvil. Pueden haber escogido cualquier otra cosa para atacar porque simplemente están inventando algo que no tiene ningún sentido. Entonces seguiremos batallando, confiamos que vamos a ganar en las cortes y los mantenemos al tanto, pero por ahora voten el martes y recuerden visitar harrisvotes.com para toda la información y todos los recursos. We'll hear now from County Clerk uh, Chris Hollins, then Elections Administrator Isabel Longoria, and then we'll take questions. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. Um, you know, we all just spoke a while ago uh, there at NRG Arena, and so I'll keep my comments brief. Uh, but I think in addition to, to what the judge said, I just want to reiterate uh, that we have your back. We are a united Harris County. Uh, your elected officials, especially those who have been tasked with protecting your right to vote, are here for you and will fight to the end so that your voice can be heard and that your votes are going to be counted. Uh, there are 2.5 million registered voters here in Harris County. 
a record 1.4 million of them have already cast their votes. And we are going to do everything in our power to ensure that your votes are counted, however you cast them, whether by mail, whether you walked into a voting center, or whether you utilized a drive through voting center. Uh, again, this case is totally without merit. The crux of this case is that we made voting too easy, and that by making them too easy, those votes should be illegal. Uh, that is simply an undemocratic and un-American view. And we know that we are in this together. Urban, rural, black, white, brown, and everything in between. Republican and Democrat, it does not matter. We are here uh, to come together as a community to select the next generation of leaders for this community and for our state and for our nation. Uh, and we will continue in that fight we're looking forward to Tuesday, November 3rd. Uh, there are still more than a million voters out there who have yet to make it to the polls to cast their votes. Uh, we're going to have a record of more than 800 voting centers that are open on Tuesday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And as the judge stated, you can visit harrisvotes.com slash locations to not only find the, the voting center nearest you or your place of business or your child's school or your place of worship, or anywhere else. Uh, but you can also see the wait time so you can make sure that you're finding the quickest location so you can get in and get out safely during this, this time that we're being challenged by COVID-19 uh, and get back to your family. We're going to make sure that you can cast your vote, that you can do so safely and conveniently and with the peace of mind that your vote is going to be counted. And I want to thank my team, hundreds of public servants who are deeply committed uh, to this job, to preserving our democracy and the thousands, more than 11,000 election workers who have stepped up when Harris County needs them the most to ensure that all of us, again, as a community, together can make these decisions that affect us, that affect our parents, and that affect our children. Thank you. And I'm just reiterating that message again. So as Isabel Longoria, who's going to be the elections administrator in the future, this is the standard that we want to establish for Harris County. We are here to protect every vote. And we've had frivolous lawsuits already this election cycle, but the fact is we did drive-through voting in July. We've been doing drive-through voting. The election code allows it. The SOS has already approved it. And 127,000 of you have already voted. And we're here to protect every single vote because if you cast it, it should be counted. And as Chris said, Clerk Collins, we're working around the clock. We just came from NRG. We'll be going back to NRG. No one's sleeping on the job until everything is counted on election day and after that. So visit us at harrisvotes.com, follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, and that will be the best way to get up-to-date information, not only about what may happen with this lawsuit, but the 800 locations on election day. And we like to say if one rodeo is good enough for Harris County, 800 voting locations will be more than enough. So we're there with wait times apps, we're there with information, and we'll be up-to-date from now all the way through election day and beyond. Uh, and if you don't mind, I'll do some comments in Spanish as well. Estamos aquí para servirles. Y si han votado ya, debe de contar. Entonces, aquí estamos trabajando para ustedes, para luchar para ustedes. Y la realidad es que ya tenemos otro día de votar. Entonces, la día de las elecciones que viene este martes, por, martes, por favor, uh, vis visítanos en el, en el sitio de web, harrisvotes.com.com para ver dónde vamos a votar, cuándo vamos a, vo vamos a votar y dónde puedes llevar a tú y tu familia a votar. Porque votar aquí en, en Harris no es solo para, para ser un ciudadano que está pendiente a lo que está pasando, pero también para proteger a su familia y para decir eso es lo que queremos en nuestra condado. Entonces, por, por favor, viene a votar con nosotros. Salimos el martes y vamos a celebrar hasta el, y trabajar hasta el último momento este martes. Entonces, gracias a ustedes para, para creer en nosotros, a luchar para ustedes. Y aquí estamos pendientes a hacer todo lo que podemos para proteger su derecho de votar. Well, right now we've got there's a hearing tomorrow morning, and we're, we'll be there with the team of lawyers. 
we know we're right on the law. We know this is part of a pattern that we're seeing around the country uh, from groups that are trying to invalidate the votes. They have frivolous lawsuits going on uh, across multiple states, and that just tells you that their end is not uh, to make a po point about a particular way of voting, but they're simply trying to see what frivolous argument they can make to try and invalidate votes. The state Supreme Court has come down on our side twice. Precedent and the law is on our side. And so if these federal judges uh, are following the law, we are confident that we will prevail and we're confident that that will be the case. If anything changes in terms of what we need the community to do, we will tell the community, but look, Right now, it's about voting, participating. Uh, if we're ever at a point where votes really are being invalidated, that, that would just be absolutely outrageous and a break with precedent. Uh, and the best we can do right now to keep that from happening is number one, fighting the legal fight, which is what we're doing, and number two, continuing to participate uh, to show the strength of the electorate in this county. And so please go out there and vote. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything else? Okay. All right, thank you guys.